hi guys today i want to tell you about some amazing opportunities for content creators in kenya right now so yesterday we celebrated world social media day and i happened to attend a forum with great minds okay dennis itumbi who's the chief administrative secretary for the ministry of it in the kenyan government he was in our midst and he shared a lot of good stuff that i'm going to share with you like this funding million kenya shillings funding for content creators in the end so stick around until the end of the video i'll be talking more about that in our midst was also the influencer and social media manager for safaricom um there was also the managing director for pulse you guys know pulse they talk about its news its sports yeah she was also there and the co-founder for wowzy you guys know wowzy if you're a content creator you're not familiar with wowzy it's a platform where you register um key in your details the niche you're in and they like connect you or plug you to opportunities paying opportunities from brands so they're like a middleman they're there in the middle yeah so all these great minds were there and i want to start with safaricom so the lady is called Vivian and um, you know she was asked what does it take to work with Safaricom and she said number one shoot your shot. I forget Jemo Ulemse was also there yes and he also shared some good stuff so anyway yeah so she gave the example of Jemo Ulemse yesterday actually when they met you guys know Safaricom has been running a campaign called Chapa Ndimba I believe and Jemo reached went to her as they were just chatting preparing to be on the forum there and he told he expressed interest he was like by the way i used to play football in school i think i would like to come on to this campaign that is shooting your shot so um even for you if you know there's an idea you have that could benefit safaricom you have an audience you can be able to sell to them pitch to them you know your numbers the idea what it is just go on linkedin look for these people they're on linkedin dm them there find their emails you have to do the work then pitch to them your idea and she also said that she appreciates people who start creating content for brands even before they are paid you know like show the brand you're interested because when you create content say for safaricom and you tag them they will see it then they will see oh wow the, the, you get discoverable as opposed to sending that email they don't know who you are when you keep tagging them on social media you've done something they'll be able to notice you, you the point is you need to start be getting noticed okay so yeah so that's with safaricom and how to work with them um yeah it was very insightful i hope you're going to take those notes next was um the co-founder for wowzy um let me tell you guys this guy is smart like of all these guys like i felt like he really researches a lot about content creators like he knows a lot about content creators so anyway he you know talked about a lot of things including how you can monetize especially on tiktok and i know you guys know this stuff but some of you just are not taking the opportunities tiktok live yeah you can make money and those coins you know don't, don't go doing the things you know you're not supposed to be doing we are content creators and we want to make money we want to um share valuable information whether that's entertainment or education like i do um yeah so he really emphasized on like tiktok and even for businesses okay even for businesses take advantage of tiktok tiktok is like people are buying things there I think every t every day when you scroll you'll, you'll find a live of someone selling bags selling shoes and even now for content creators you can go on live like he gave us an example of someone who plays the piano for i don't know how many hours and he makes so much money okay yeah so that was really um insightful to know that you know you don't have to wait for brands to come looking for you look for opportunities already within these apps you know like youtube you know coming onto youtube um growing your following growing your watch time so that you start be getting monetized and so on and so forth then um the lady i believe her name was wamoyo the managing director for pulse so she talked about ai and how as a content creator ai can help you come up with content ideas okay we are moving to artificial intelligence you know we are moving to that stuff so anyway yeah 
take advantage of AI. If you're struggling with content ideas, maybe you're struggling with consistency, you don't know what to, to create, go on, on chat GPT, search, maybe your niche is fashion, fashion content ideas, start writing them. The script is going to be there, like take advantage, advantage of chat GPT, even for your captions, yeah? Like if you want to tell, to write a nice caption that hooks people, that is interesting, take advantage of chat GPT. Now, uh, have I left someone else? Yes. Jemo Ulem say, I think for me, my takeaway for, from Jemo was that you need to create a strong brand. Like, guys, he emphasized this. Like, for you to be able to get gigs from the government, gigs from big corporates, you can't afford to be Madhogosh, Madhogosh, just Madhogosh, you Like, for him, it matters to... um package yourself well okay package yourself well like if you don't want people to associate you with a certain thing like say food like me i think i always tell you guys you will never see me eating food say like on this channel like i'm just here eating my chips as i'm talking to you no so create a strong brand that is memorable okay and then quality like if you guys know jemo ulem says work his quality is like top notch he doesn't joke about his work so yeah having a strong brand he really emphasized about and yeah shooting shooting your shot he shot his shot yesterday yet he was a panelist but he was still like by the way i can do this for you yeah so a strong brand sorry a strong brand quality content and consistency in fact he said stop trying to go viral and this is something I think I also need to tell you guys. Stop trying to, to go viral. Because you might go viral and brands now know you and see you. Then they come to your work. They are like, Aish. even though this person is viral, they just don't fit with our brand, unfortunately. So start packaging yourself well. Focus on good quality content. Focus on a clean brand, you know. So the day you go viral and people are looking at your work, they're like, okay, yeah, there is something here. We need to work with this person. Okay. Yeah. Then let me move to Chipukizi because he had a chance to talk. Um, Itumbi told him he's giving him some of his airtime. Um, so him, he said, um, a lot of the guys he was with in that comedy industry, they really were trying to fit into, you know, like, that corporate you know corporates maybe you're trying to package yourself now this is different from what jemo was saying so like trying to change yourself to fit a certain style you know to, to appeal to corporates now you're starting to change the way you dress to try and appeal like he said be yourself like actually be yourself so he told us he does not he said he would not shave his like micro locks you know those 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 locks he has those that hair that bushy hair he said he would not cut it just to affirm to himself like you know what i'm not defined like by my hair or anything like i am this is chipukizi i am talented it doesn't change me dressing the way i dress is just me and now he's working with the government okay so even for you i don't know what that is i really don't know for me it's many things yeah i'll dress the way i want to dress um that that suits me um i'm not trying to be like someone else so even for you i know there's the frustration of you're trying to be like someone you know you're you're seeing brands are working with this type of people so you want to dress like them you want to no you don't have to just be yourself and now to denise tumbi Yo, this guy is really, really brilliant. I'll have to say that. So, he said, before I get to the money, because I know we are all waiting for the money part, um, he was just talking about propaganda and how it has propelled his career, you know, to who he is today. And he was saying, um, my takeaway was like, don't be boring. By boring, I mean, stop being like everyone else be different like be actually different so instead of for him I'm, I'm reporting for him instead of like telling the brand oh you're amazing you're amazing i want to work with you 
look for the weaknesses of this brand okay look for their weaknesses and pitch to them an idea of how you can help them you know with that weakness of theirs say there's a brand you know they don't have a nice social media uh presence say you are a social media manager because i know a lot of social media managers are following me um you know a brand their social media page is not that nice reach out to them and tell them i just noticed your social media page is lacking some vavavoom here's how i can help you instead of hi do you have a job opportunity for me can you hire me i went to the university i have this and this no 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 so yeah so him he said look for loopholes look for opportunities uh with these brands and just pitch to them so for him he looked for opportunities he would notice like a weakness in say the government and and you know be able to say eh hey, apa munadu si munadu so he was called to fix a lot of things and you know he's where he is today and he also talked about um someone asked about like the the whole tiktok you know what do we call it you know how people have been getting coins doing all the wrong things yeah so he was asked about that and i think there's something he mentioned but i won't mention it here but he said you know the government is you and me okay this is like now sister advice we are the government it's it's me and you so instead of complaining this and this is happening the only way we can improve as a society is just don't watch that stuff you know report if you have to if you've come across it report it and and don't be there engaging yeah D- don't be there watching these videos because the more you watch these things the algorithm is realizing oh this is nice shows you more things and so on and so forth so let me see my notes to just confirm what else i could have left out before the money bit um yeah so i have my phone here so he said that um you know the government is really keen on empowering content creators like in fact the that office sits at state house like it's it's imp- it's that important so this is a good time if you're a content creator just know the government has your back okay create start creating that content um now when it comes to how you can get funding and by funding you know it's a loan okay but it's a good loan because it's the government i'm sure the interest rates are very low the prepayment period is also very nice so if say you have a project okay you're a content creator you have a a big idea maybe you want to have a big podcast like you just don't want to start small you you don't want to start you know with like a small mic like this son of mine you want to actually you know your idea is good but you would need some funding the government can actually fund you so um this is through the Kenya Industrial Estate yes please take notes and go and check it out Um so there's financing for new small and medium enterprises in Kenya and this is a docket that is run by Moses Kuria. Um so these are funds between 1 million to 25 million bob like you can actually ac- get access to this kind of money to set you up yeah maybe you need a studio you would like to you know you're a photographer you would really need a studio to do your work apply for these things so he said um you register as a creator there's a section there and i think you know you can see on the screen i'm showing you the website um and yeah so there is money and in fact he was just telling us about um so many opportunities within the government that most young people don't know we are busy scrolling our tiktoks we are busy scrolling on instagram yet there are opportunities we don't even know like i think he said that if you take a picture of this um i think export processing zones like if you take any picture i think you're paid i don't know how much at the end of the year just taking pictures and people don't know this kind of stuff okay yeah i think it was export processing zones i'm not sure or this development projects country call but yeah there are so many opportunities so my challenge to you young kenyans is to invest your time wisely listen guys this is 
time for foundation okay we're gonna be gr growing old very soon so this is a time to stop wasting time don't waste time on these platforms instead make money through them make money through your tiktok your instagram grind guys grind go and read the papers go go and read websites i've told you about soma go on linkedin follow them plug into uh, communities where you can find out opportunities that are available and yeah that was about it in summation and it was really really amazing to see young people who are hungry yeah i want you guys to be hungry i want you to succeed i know you guys know of people who are making a lot of money in this industry and it's also possible for you okay so yeah let me know in the comments which advice which tip stood out the most for you and before i forget someone asked about in the audience someone asked about youtube and why this the the money kenyans earn is not as much as like countries in the u.s countries like the u.s the uk and so on and so forth and butita is one who took on that question and he said you know our our economy or the creator industry is still very young so um youtube earns their money through ads adverts and most brands in like the uk the us they've already they know about digital marketing they know all that so they invest a lot of money in youtube ads because they know it works but huku africa here in africa here in kenya especially you know slowly by slowly is where brands are realizing oh this thing works this thing but they're still not investing a lot of money compared to like brands elsewhere so you find that you know now there's something called cpm on youtube yeah which is i think cost per mile uh, cost per a thousand views if i'm not wrong so like the money that brands businesses are placed are giving youtube for advertising is not that much so you're sharing your many content creators you're sharing this money so it will be very little because the money is not so much so anyway in a, in simple terms that's what it is but yeah i learned a lot please let me know which tip stood out the most for you in the comments and please subscribe 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 subscribe